Hello everybody, this is the Mega Mario Fan 01. Welcome back to more Metroid Prime in the last episode. Let's see, last time we escaped an exploding ship, we met a resurrected Ridley, and we lost all our, all our stuff. So I'd say this is a wonderful day. In this episode, hopefully we'll are going to be exploring this planet, Talon 4, and hopefully get some... Hopefully you find some clues as to the new Ridley's whereabouts. Here we have some new creatures. A beetle. Wow, creative name. Anyway, borrowing insect with a resilient carcass. Not really. Extremely extremely aggressive. Insect's massive mouth enables it to tunnel through solid rock at high speeds. Above ground, beetles can cover short distances rapidly. They attack anything that moves near their lair. And they're pathetic. Resilient and shells my ass. Just two or three hits in there. Shots with a power beam and they're dead. And we have some more, more enemies. New creature. Zoomer! Zoom zoom. It's, it's not Mr. Saturn, it's a Zoomer. Anchor is itself. Anchor is itself. to walls and other surfaces. Avoid contact with spikes. Well, duh. A basic nerve center. A basic nerve center located directly above Zoomer. Is mandibles detect it and detects nutrients. Sharp spines protect it from casual predators, but the lack of a reinforced carcass makes the zoomer vulnerable to any indirect attack, such as a power beam. And another creature. Lots of scanning. Bit of a warning here. Blast cap. Volatile little chemicals within the weeds. Toxic fungal cap may explode if agitated. The poisonous flesh from of the blast cap helps keep it from being eaten. Also, it detonates its fungal fungal cap have within its senses any slight contact, such as a blast. Well, three hits, anyway. Boom. Dead. Music's really nice. I love, but I love it a lot. And another creature. Sap sack. So many jokes can be made with that. Chemical reaction within sack produces violent explosion and when agitated. Because of its irresistible odor and sweet nectar, the Samsa egg was nearly eaten out of existence. The evolution of its explosive chemical sack saved it. Now only brave or indigenous creatures dare to devour it. Yeah, really? And I forgot I don't have. I com I completely forgot that I don't have my charge shot because of that explosion. Oh, more scanning. I did warn you. Did warn you about the scanning thing. Yeah, like I said last episode, Samus looks absolutely ugly here. Looking at the time, got about five minutes in. Well. Yeah, five minutes in. I am thinking about cutting some of this out. The three, two, one thing in the last episode was just the was just for um sinking purposes. These pillars have collapsed from erosion. Carbon dating cannot determine the age of the structures. So it seems that they've been here for quite a while. Oh, here we have a lure. 
Yeah, let's go ahead and read this. In the actual log. The reason why I'm doing it with the log is so that way my finger... Er, my index finger doesn't get tired from pushing down all the time. At the highest point of our city lies, lies the fountain. A well spring of pure water that flows throughout our civilization. It is the jewel of the Chozo, the life giver, and yet its water speaks of a clouded future. As we come to understand the paths of time and space more clearly, we have begun to glimpse rough tatters of, sp of past and future, glittering behind reality like so soft lights behind a curtain. We have seen the fountain in these gleams glimpses, pouring darkness instead of water, and we cannot guess what the visions mean. Hmm. It seems that uh, they knew whatever disaster was going to come even before it came. So yeah, this is the Chosen Ruins. Chozo Ruins. God. And we have more beetles. Basic stuff here. Oh, we have a door over here. But... Blast shield. Blast shield and the door blocking access. And analysis indicates the blast shield is invulnerable to beam weapons. Explosive if weapons may damage it. But unfortunately, we don't have any missiles, so we're gonna have to ignore that door for the time being. Fucking assholes. But anyway, that's not important. Well, actually, that is important. We do need our missiles, but... I'm making no sense, and we have a new enemy. Scar... I think that's how you pronounce it. Exploding parasites that can embed their bodies in solid rock. Scribes think nothing of sacrificing themselves for the safety of their swarm. When a hostile life form is sighted, they block its progress by embedding themselves in floors and walls. Embedded in scribes violently self destruct when threatened. So basically, one shot and they're dead. But uh, don't be so close to them. More scanning! Yeah, sorry about this scanning. It's. I just like do it. Eon! Eons and eons ago. Sorry about the pun there. I just love them. Immobile organisms entirely composed of. Oracle. Unless you're... <laughs> tissue. I don't know how to pronounce these words. I'm sorry about that. If you could... It respectfully tell me what it is in the comments, I appreciate it. Capable of launching... Sustained energy beings when active. The Eon is sensitive to light and will close shut if a bright light flash nights nearby. And you can kill him with the... Uh, and you can kill him with the charge beam, but, but, but like I said, that explosion stole our, our, all of our equipment. And we have another lore over here. Let's see, chosen lore, waiting for all these to load up. I don't know why Te next one would load so long. We chose a are departing now. After so many years in peaceful se seclusion here on Talon 4, we, we came, when we came, this place was a refuge. This place was a refu refuge for our spirits. A civilization built from na native materials. Bereft of our trappings. 
of our technology. We were linked. Ah, we were linked to the land here, tender to the plants and animals, far away from machines we become so dependent on, and so we le leave it now, pristine, a testament to the mortal forms we, we no longer need. We have drawn the ve the veils as a tiny I and mean, space aside. Our, we are and are withdrawing beyond the illusion, but we will never forget this, the most sacred of our homes, and we will remain ever watchful. So it seems a lot has indeed happened. But if memory serves correctly, there's a safe point in this room. Well, safe point nearby. Got some enemies here, but I'm gonna wait till next part to to scan those. So, next time on Metroid Prime, we're gonna explore even further. See you guys then. Bye.